One of the most beloved and consistently brilliant sketches on Wits is Pop Song Correspondences, where we hear the other side of a conversation in a famous song, which usually involves taking the lyrics very literally. Pop Song Correspondences. A transcript of the staff meeting at the Hotel California after Don Henley's visit. This can take a few forms. Sometimes the song doesn't actually exist in the sketches world. The lyrics are just part of the correspondence. And sometimes the song was actually released in the sketches world, like it was released in our world, and the characters are just reacting to it based on the information about the writing of the song that they have in their world. See, in fact, he has released a song all about his visit here to the Hotel California. But it's such a lovely place. Didn't he like our welcome poem? Actually, he used it in his song, but you know what? I, I think he was making fun of us. Welcome to the Hotel California. This particular installment is unique in that the characters are merely reacting to the song rather than directly engaging with the songwriter. Where's the chef? Yeah. I mean, can you tell me about this feast? Oh, well, yeah. We yeah. take this animal and uh -huh. then we let it loose. Well, well what, what, what kind of animal is it? Is, it is it's it, a it's beast. A, That's all we know. It's, it's kind of like a cow combined with a mongoose uh -huh. and a wolverine. I, we get them really cheap and boy is it angry. Uh -huh. <laughs> anyway, it tries to escape or attack and then we stab it. With, with, with steely knives? Yeah, steely yeah. knives. Dave Foley is no stranger to playing a stressed out boss frustrated by his employee shenanigans and man, do these employees engage in shenanigans. Robbie, what happened when Mr. Henley attempted to check out well, I the let hotel? Him. I said, whenever you would like to check out, that's fine. I printed up a receipt. I said, thank you. Such a lovely face. Did you notice his face? Yeah. That's yeah. Really nice. Nice. Yes. And then? I told him uh, I, he could never leave. I liked him. I wanted to be friends. We're back to pop song correspondences, and this is one of the ones where the characters are directly responding to the lyrics in conversation. In this case, it's the lyrics of The Boys Are Back in Town, as Thin Lizzy has arrived to let everyone know about The Boys' return. Guess who just got back today? Who? The wild-eyed boys that have been away. Why didn't you give us a chance to guess? How many boys are you talking about? And this might be the fastest installment of pop song correspondences with very little breathing room. Is this a huge mob of boy toddlers? Haven't changed that much to say, but man, I still think them cats are crazy. Wait, 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 are these boys or are they crazy cats? They were asking if you were around. The lyric is sung, the response happens immediately, and then right back to the lyrics. Told them you were living downtown, driving all the old men crazy. Why did you tell them where we lived? You know, it's true. We rigged up a series of speakers to blast ear splitting noise at random times, all right near where the old men live. It does drive them crazy. Why did you tell the boys? Then Lizzie's announcement raises more questions than it answers, and the townspeople have no idea what to do with the information it does provide. The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. Do the boys always travel together? Are you the boys' publicist, or are you just weirdly obsessed with them? I love the fast-paced nature of this correspondence. It's just as energetic as the original song with the added bonus of comedy. Man, we just fell about the place. If that chick don't want to know, forget her. Sorry, what's funny about a chick slapping Johnny? If the chick don't want to know what, why slapping is funny? Who are you? The boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. Pop song correspondences. The notes, mumblings, and screamings of a guy who's fallen down a well. When I first listened to this episode, I was in my car on the way to work, and when the pop song correspondence started up, I didn't immediately recognize the music. I listened to John's plight as the guy trapped in the well, and his delight when someone started to show up, still wondering where this was going. But as soon as the lyrics kicked in, I started laughing so hard that I almost had to pull over. I threw a wish in the well. Don't ask me, I'll never tell. I looked to you as it fell, and now you're in my way. I think she spotted me. Hello, hey, hi. Uh, please rescue me from the bottom of this well. How did I not see it coming? It was perfect. Yeah, the song had been the target of countless memes since its debut, but it was truly tailor-made for the pop song correspondence treatment. Oh. 
hey, that's kind of weird to flirt with the guy at the bottom of a well and instead of rescuing him, but okay. You the dark, cruel fate of John's Lost Hiker is the perfect counterbalance to the bubblegum pop silliness of Carly Rae Jepsen. And yet, Jamie Winterbauer and the witnesses actually make the song sound pretty good. Ripped jean skin was showing, hot night wind was blowing, where do you think you're going, baby? Nowhere. The performance gleefully embraces the song's light catchiness, while the dialogue cruelly deflates the emptiness of the lyrics, and the sketch has something for you whether you love or hate the song. Save me. Wait, what are you doing? Are you dropping a piece of paper down here? Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. Just a few of my favorite segments from this delightful radio show and podcast. 